here's the AVR fuse calculator site showing uh, ATINY85 uh, with an external clock and it shows the fuses uh, E0 and DF as calculated. Then I've copied those uh, low E0 and high DF fuses into the boards.txt file on Spence Condi's ATINY core and then connected up the external timer the one megahertz crystal to the programmer program the fuses and the board now um, you can't see me selecting the external crisp uh, the external timer here so sorry about that uh, all burning the bootloader but you will see it burning the bootloader which is fine and then compiling and uploading the um, the code. So yep, that all works pretty well. So this is what it looks like on the board. So that's the A tiny eighty five return to the breadboard. You can see the one megahertz crystal supplying the signal to pin two, and then um, we've got pin three and pin. Five, six, uh, operating as the um, uh, the setting pins. All right, so there's the default values on the OLED display. So first of January two thousand and twenty at midday, and it's ticking away nicely. Uh, again, there's the uh, one megahertz crystal supplying the uh, timer signal to the A tiny eighty five, and there's the two buttons that we'll be using to set the time. So firstly you click one and uh, it flashes setting and then there's year 20 so a long press to get to the month and then smaller presses to get to April. There's May gone too far so use the other one to go backwards. Long press to get to the day now it's the 22nd today, so a few presses, there's the 22nd, long press to get to the hour. It's 10 o'clock and now sometimes it's easy to go backwards and in fact if you click and hold that backwards button it just clicks over so 49 long press and there it is 1049 on the 22nd of April 2020 as time to buy an external timer and that's the circuit working